Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Bosnia, uh, a channel all about life in a village in the northwest of the country. I'm David. I'm Tamara. And we try to show you what daily life is really like. And this week has been really all about food. And dogs. It's Friday and it's new mattress day. Well, it was new mattress day yesterday, but it was a little bit overcast. We've got new mattresses indoors, but this is our old one. And Tam's father, Predrag, has sorted it out ready for dispose disposing and i think he's going to keep this for something i think he's got a, a plan for this nothing goes to waste at all in this country So now we need to cook this. This is pasir now. This still needs to be done through the net. Pick it up with this and then do it. And then we cook this. So that's still going to be done? Yes, through the pasir. Pasirka. Uh -huh. And this is already done and we need to cook this and then put in the butter and pasteurize it in the oven. And that's for eating. <laughs> How many and this here, I'm going to make shavsha again. In this. How many kilos of tomatoes today? Koko kilo, Baba. Over ten kilos today. All from the garden. All from the garden, yes. Shaf shaf for lunch again. We have some from the last time. And it goes in here. For now. You're going to put garlic in as well? Yes. Puno garlic. Peruvian Yagoda. Peruvian Yagoda. Peruvian strawberries. Can we eat them? I have no idea how you eat this. We got this from Milutin. Uh -huh. Seeds. What were it? Looks like cherry. Ooh. What is not as plain as I asked. More a bit ruin. More a bit ruin. Interesting. Mm. Good taste. This. This is the more This is sour. How many liters then? Coco liter, I don't know. There. I must do it. Yes, you are the one who is 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 the in the oven. And we're also shredding apples today. Tons of apples. Apple cake during the winter. Gets bagged up and put in the freezer. We washed the bottles and now we are going to fill them up with a warm tomato juice and then we're going to sterilize it in the oven for 90 degrees 90 minutes. 
We got the bottles from uh, Schwabo, our dear friend from Austria, bitch. These are the apples that we've spent an hour or so grinding down. And then they're packaged and they go in the fridge. The freezer. So what are we doing today? Pasteurizing tomato juice. So it's all been boiled up and then the bottles were carefully washed by a tamara so they're all healthy and clean. And then we fill the juice in, put them in here, and then they'll go into the, I think they go into the oven, oven to be pasteurized. And then when they're cooled down, they get put into the winter store. Bravo. So the end tally was 11 liters. of nice, fresh, natural juice from the tomatoes. Are you happy? I'm happy, very happy indeed. So we're downstairs in the kitchen with a bit of a flicker. The crate is empty and they're in there, pasteurized. Mm -hmm. How long do they uh, pasteurize for? Uh, 90 minutes. 90 minutes at? Uh, hour and a half. At 90 Celsius. So they pasteurize in there for 90 minutes at, a, at 90 Celsius. Yes. At 90 Celsius. And then we've got 11 liters of juice, juice for the winter. I'm going to crash on the couch. Good morning from the kitchen. It's a Sunday. Tamara's uh, in town with the ladies having ladies gossip. Yeah, ladies coffee. Did I say ladies gossip? Maybe it's the same thing. Uh, but she goes every Sunday. Um, I'm left in uh, the house. I've just done the tidying up in the kitchen. Off to the office in a minute. Um, but we've got, or I've got, a sweet breakfast this morning. This is uh, a Turkish fig pudding. Um, Tam and I found out about this because we follow um, a lady, a super lady on YouTube that has Turkish food recipes and they're absolutely amazing. I'm going to uh, link the channel in the description below, but I'm going to try this. Tam's already had hers, her mum and dad had hers yesterday. This is amazing, like butterscotch in a way. But there's only two ingredients, I think, milk and figs. Absolutely amazing. As I always say, if my mum is watching, don't start sending me hardcore messages about speaking with my mouthful. This is absolutely wonderful. Do try it. I'll put a link to the actual video in the channel of Turkish food recipes below. For those that have never seen it before, this is burek, which is like a pie with meat in it. And it's always eaten with yogurt. As you can see, I like my yogurt as well. But this burek was not good. I no. didn't like it. No. They used to have better burek. So I'm not going to be buying the burek there. Anymore. I was supposed to be at the doctor's today getting my screw up. 
but you can't. So when Too many people like you. So when <laughs> so when is it gonna come out? We're going on Friday and see. All these bell peppers to the last from the garden or are there more? They are, uh, there's more in the garden and these are from the garden. Because of my useless language, is it Lovachka salata or Lovachki salata? No, this is not Lovachka salata. This is Paprika Usenf. Paprika Usenf. Usenfu. Usenfu. Yeah. Which is going to be. Read it. Paprika. Paprika usenfu. Usenfu. Did yes. I pronounce that right? Yes. Shall I say it again? Paprika usenfu. Bravo, David. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. And how many kilos will we make for Zimnitsa for winter this food? This recipe is the sixth kilo. Six kilos. Six yeah. kilos of paprika. Two liters of water, one liter of the vinegar, mm -hmm. 250 grams of sugar, 150 grams of salt, uh, four uh, onions, uh, one garlic, like a bulb, the whole thing, mm -hmm. uh, persian, which is parsley, one liter of oil, and one kilogram of zenf, which is mustard. One kilogram of zenf? Yes. That's a huge jar. Yes, it's one kilo. I bought it, German gem. Them. <laughs> and I think last year I got about eight or nine uh, 700 grams uh, jars, the big jars. I remember eight it. I remember it tasted so lovely. You can eat it on its own, can't you? Yes, I love it. The uh, vinegar, is that apple vinegar or normal vinegar? Just a normal white vinegar, alcohol vinegar. See, my job is just to roughly cut them because I'm useless at doing fine cuts. And then you do the fine cuts, yeah? Yeah, you cut them in a... We're going to hang them in a net later, aren't we? Yes, because they need to drain and I need to wash this again. <laughs> I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, we're going to drain them in a net. I washed the net, it's drying over there. Can you see the net? It's drying over there. Yeah. I washed it. So once they boiled in a vinegar, oil and sugar, we put them in a net to drip off and to cool off. And then we mix them with garlic, parsley, uh, zenf or mustard and onions. Okay. We mix it all together, then we put it in a jar, cover it up, put the labels on and done. To it all, just like that. Nearing the end. Near the end of cutting them. Next job? Pivo. <laughs> Pivo. Cheers, Zivili. How do you say in German? Chris Prost. 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 Oh, this smells vinegary. Of course. <laughs> so what's this vinegar in there? There's a vinegar, sugar and salt and yeah. water. Vinegar, sugar, salt and water. And you boil the peppers for oh. 15 minutes. 
But so since we have a lot, we have to in small pot. We have to do it in batches. Two, two batches. And this is the first drain. This is the first one, yeah. Because that net behind, that green net. We'll let it cool off a little bit. Then we're going to put there in the nets to drain. <laughs> this smells delicious. No, it's very vinegary. How much zenth? How much mustard did you buy today? One kilo. That's how much it goes on six kilo of peppers. That much mustard? Yeah, and this is lovely German stuff. Mittelschaf. I made this last year as well with the same thing. Oh. Bit strong. It's the leftovers from uh, <laughs> the onions. And there's more in there. There's a garlic and parsley I'm cleaning now. And then I'm going to chop this up. Mix it with mustard and uh, ulle. Diamant. Yeah, just a normal. And you're having a beer. I'm having a beer, yeah. I love having a beer when I'm working. Now the next batch is going in. Next batch. How long will I boil? Uh, 15 minutes, but I'll wait a little bit longer because this is uh, this um, How do you call this in English? What? This. Oh, the hot plate. The hot plate. It's not very hard. Uh, strong. Yeah. So it takes a little bit time. And I lost the lid of this pot. I don't know where it is. So I'll wait till it boils and then when it starts boiling, I'll measure 15 minutes. These now, I can put them in a green thing. In the net. Maybe I'll just wait till they cool off a little bit more. It's still wet. Ruche. This is Ruche. Now we drain it. It's completely done. All of it. Push it right. Turn the other way, David. What are you making? Well, apparently this is zenth. Otherwise and what do you do with so and much oil. zenth? And that's where all this wonderful paprika, bell peppers are going to go. Spouse, I mean, like the memory. Black mustard seed, that's my ingredient. Is that your twist? My twist. glasses now do you think? No idea. 10? 11? I have 10 ready. 10 ready.
and welcome back to the vlog. It's a Tuesday morning, just had a shower, doing it all by myself, even though my leg is still out of action. Um, yeah, last night we finished off with uh, paprika in mustard, or bell peppers in mustard, I suppose we should say, um, using English. Um, yeah, and we put the tops on them. The tops have now been tightened up uh, by me, so now we can go and put them in the cold store for eating during those cold, chilly um, winter months. Tam's at the vets with Phoebe. It's time that she went to get her shots, maybe some tablets to deworm her and everything. Remember that she was a street dog um, that arrived on the property and has stayed ever since. So it'll be interesting to see the report or hear the report about how she coped uh, at the vets. Linda, our big Labra, Labrador, she's um, she's just, she takes the vet in her stride. Cooper though, is the drama of drama queens. Good morning, internet. Hey, so, um, little Phoebe, she's back from the, from the vet, tell, tell us the story. What was it like taking her to the vet? Uh, I took her to the vet. It was like a normal every day. Like when you take your pets to the vet, and but he says, uh, "Oh, she's so tiny. She looks like she has a little bit chihuahua in her." Chihuahua. Yes. So that's why he said. But he said, "Looks like a little bit chihuahua in her," and that she's already four months old because she's losing her teeth. And I thought that she, her teeth are just growing. That she's two months. But no, he said she's nearly four months. We're gonna have to be careful, because, you know, because we got dog sniffing around here, male yeah, because dogs. She lost uh, her t her front two teeth, and now the big one will come out mm -hmm. as well. And uh, she got vaccination and then in 21 days I have to take her again. But she's not going to be much bigger than she is, which is sweet. Because you I always wanted to have a small dog. You always did. Uh, we have to be careful though, because we've got some male dogs that aren't neutered. Yes, so she, we need to neuter her on time. Before six months. Not to two months more. <laughs> I took tablets for worms for cats and dogs, Cooper and Linda, and I'm going to give them today because it's time. Every three months I have to give them. But Phoebe threw up in the car, so I need to give a new one, because he just gave her. And she gets car sick. When I take her for coffee in town, she gets car sick. Oh, bless. Phoebe. Phoebe. Okay, so a week of uh, food, basically, um, and dogs as well. And dogs. Phoebe. And as soon, Specifically Phoebe. And as soon as we've posted this, the vet's coming to look at our other two dogs. So yes, an animal and food uh, friendly vlog. If you like what you see, please consider sharing, which is very, very good for us, liking, and of course, subscribing as well. Anything else to say? No, that's it. Okay, <laughs> see you in the next one. We'll make a fig pudding. Oh yes. Soon. We'll do some more fig pudding soon. Bye. Bye.